What's up, Dirty Bay Anglers? We are heading today to Exclusive Boats to see Mr. Fiberglass himself, Tony Torres. Exclusive Boats has been doing good for me for a while, taking care of things that I need to be taken care of, and he can take care of for you. If you want a custom work done, fiberglass work, repairs, whatever, he'll take care of you, I promise you. But anyway, today's episode is based by my custom boat for Dirty Bay Fishing. I need to go skinny, man. I've got a Knight, Nautic Star, 23 foot um, angler. Does great. I can still get, you know, fairly shallow, but I want to go skinny. I want to hit the, the marshes. I want to uh, hit flats that uh, my other boat can't. So Tony's going to make it happen. I picked up a, a 1986 Showwater Sportsman flat bottom boat, and this boat is going to be one of a kind, man. It's going to be a crossbreed with a, uh, a Mayak center console put on top to, to upgrade the looks and the the, the way the modern uh, consoles are also the deck's gonna be flat the deck's gonna be flat like a oversized Chiquita maybe so I'm looking forward to that so we have deck all the way around and he's gonna put in custom hatches custom hatches that won't break won't won't dry right and things like that so 100% fiberglass I'm gonna go see Tony now He's, the boat's over there. He's gonna be ripping out all the wood, rotted wood, anything wood, and put honeycomb runners, uh, fiberglass runners, uh, COSA decking, everything. 100% fiberglass boat, about to go in the marsh, about to go skinny, and got some great ideas. Let's go check it out. Alright, so here I am at exclusive. And there she is, man. There she is. The 1986 Showwater. This boat is fixing to be transformed. We end up uh we're gonna be slapping this on right there. The Mayak center console. It's gonna be all fiberglassed and cleaned up like brand new. The hull is gonna be black. It's gonna be all gel coated like brand new. Center console will be black, gel coated like brand new. All the holes will be covered in nice and new. And this deck, this deck will be gone, raised up, flat deck all the way across. So, we can get with Tony right now. We're going to be talking about things we're going to do and see what's going to happen to this boat, man. It's going to be awesome. Some of the work that Tony's doing, man. Beautiful work. Beautiful gel cut work. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you Beautiful. Know, All right, Tony, so yes, sir. this one's getting out, that one's getting out. Yeah. And then. It's getting out. That one, it's getting out. I just never put that thing in the front. And then the, the Dirty Bay exclusive special. There you go. Boom. It's fixing to happen. Yes, sir. So, all right, uh, man. Can I borrow your truck, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Well, you, you, you move for me, please. Yeah, okay. Um, put the tongue on okay. this one, and I'll back up. And okay, we'll... let me go ahead. So, yeah, man. About, so, Tony, Mr. Fiberglass, is about to get the old boat put in the shop so he can put some work in it. So, it's going to be nice, man. I love, I'm digging that center console, bro. I'm still debating if I'm going to go... If I'm gonna go with a the lip like this, a lip all the way back, and this maybe flat and, and still coming out to where you still have this lip for the water, but this is angled down. I'm gonna get it flat to where it comes straight when it comes straight and then curve out. But I might do this lip here, or I may just go flat all the way. I'm not sure, but that's what we're here for today. We're gonna be talking about it and. Uh, I'm about to back the boat up and put it in, so.
for more boats too, right? Exactly. So you got Mr. Fiberglass here. Tony, what's your ideas, man? I know we've been designing this thing together for a while now. We're gonna go ahead and remove the old floor, front deck, back deck. We're gonna go ahead and uh, install a new flat deck, turn out the, the gunnels four inches down, make it like a flat. Skinny boat. Beef up the transom. We're gonna go ahead and, and get that uh, center console ready to Joko. Fill all them holes, all them hand warning holes. And you know, we're just gonna go back and drill whatever you you can go ahead and put on the on the console on the boat. As far as the so show us the uh, the type of hatches that we're going to be putting on. Let's go check it out. Okay. So we're going to check out these uh, these custom hatches we're going to be putting on this boat. It's going to be something similar to this one. Not exactly the same, but it's going to be similar. It's going to be a hatch like this with a little channel with a small drain right here on the corner so the water can drain out. And it's gonna be all fiberglass. We're gonna put, go ahead and glass some foam core on the underneath the hatches, so they can be stiff enough and, and strong enough, so you can stand on top of them. And, so and this is the this is a bigger version. We're gonna have a smaller version for my boat, to where there's gonna have a hatch to where we can actually get, get access. Right here. There you go. So there's a perfect example of a hatch that he's gonna be building for my boat. That's gonna be nice. That that's gonna last forever, guys. I mean, seriously, you ain't gonna have no dry rod issues. You're not gonna have cracking, discolorization from those deals. Especially in those plastic hatches, you have to go replace them, and you know this is just gonna be. Perfect. And and right here, this is an example here, Tony. This is this is Tony's idea. He wants to put on the back of the boat. So if my boat deck is gonna be flat, this thing's gonna we we're gonna be able to hose off and just come straight out the back. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look, look underneath there. So that right there is going to push water out. I can stay a little dry as possible. Exactly. You know, stay a little dry and uh, have a good time. So uh, let's go in, in your office and do some more talking. Let's go. All right. So me and Tony's getting over here. Give me a chair next to him. We'll go do some talking. What we're going to do. So right now we're actually looking at um, different types of tanks gas tanks we're going to use and uh make that purchase and so i showed you that picture which is that uh it's right here so showing the picture we'll be doing some research so there you go it's uh 03252 let's see that's a molder part 032 that's the 25 gallon though is that one right there? 25 gallons. Is that it? That one? 0325. 25. 25 gallons. That's it. Yeah, 47 by 18 by 10. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so the price here is showing. Let's see if we can get us an exclusive discount. Yeah. All right, so uh, we, we're talking about the gas tank. We're gonna go underneath the, uh, the center, yes. underneath the center console. That way, push a little bit more weight up front because we're probably gonna go with a little bit bigger motor in the back. Yes. So we'll try to make some more balance on the boat. So that way, underneath the center console, we have room. Exactly. You know, and we're gonna put the batteries under the center console, correct? I want to try the running battery on the back. Okay. And then two up underneath the center console okay. for trolling motor. Trolling motor. Okay. Yeah. What? Uh, how many volts uh, are you going with? We're going to go 24 volt. 24 volts. Yeah. So we're going to use two batteries in the front. Yep. Yep. And I'll get the wire. Um, I'll get the wire to make sure it's the uh, marine grade marine wiring. Grade. Yes. Well, well, that way we can slap the wire in there. I was thinking maybe we could put a little channel. Yes. And you put a little 90 to go up to the front of the boat. Yeah. And since you're going to have a hatch anyway. Yes. You can just have an opening. So we, can we, can run, we can run wires and, and trolling motor wires, everything up into the hatch. Okay. Also, I can go ahead and get an inch and a half fuel fill holes, the 5 eighths and the 3 eighths. Okay. Run everything before we put the floor back in. Okay. Uh, we're going to run one 4 inch PVC thick wall or we're going to run two, two of them for the. Um, I would want to run, run a, a, a 4 inch and maybe an inch and a half for any just 
loose wires or something so under the console to the back of the bowl yes okay. yeah okay. and that way the four inch if if we can run transducer wire or uh yeah transducer wires control wiring for the motor yes. anything else in an inch and a half can we be can fit. uh transom underwater lighting uh, yeah, anything it. anything like that uh even our bilge pump wiring yeah. all that can be separated that way we can pull the wire in the future something happened rip it out start all fresh there you go so we're getting uh, some ideas guys it's gonna be nice man so uh but anyway like i was saying me and tony's been been talking about this for at least a year now at least yes. yeah, we've been talking about a year now you know trying to get a a legit boat that we can get skinny you can put two guys my size 250 plus on a boat fish all day catch a lot of fish and have a lot of room and it'll look really good Tony definitely does the, the quality and the looks part of that. My job is to catch the fish. There you go. Uh, so <laughs> yes, we'll see what happens, man. I'm excited, dude. Um, I'm actually shocked you're already actually jumping on it right away for me. You, Tony's moving boats out of the way. He's like, dude, Dirty Bay Fishing, let's get Dirty Bay Fishing in here. Let's take care of these guys because they take care of me. Of course, I always put out a good word. Thank yes, you sir. for your sponsor. Thank you. Exclusive boats. You need some repairs. You need something custom. Don't matter. Mr. Mr. Fiberglass himself is going to take care of it. So, awesome job, man. All right, so it was a good productive day to talk with Tony. And uh, went over some things. Got the gas tank ordered. He's got it, all the, a lot of the parts ordered. So, they're about to uh, start ripping out the floor today. So, can't wait. Stay tuned, guys. Dirty Bay Fishing Boat.